know it's an easy question. You have a big fight with Ryan Bader coming up. How's the training going? Training's going good. Got uh, some friends in town helping me get ready. Alex the Muller is here with me in uh, San Diego, so training's going real good. So now certainly he's not built the same way Ryan Bader is, but what is Alexander helping you with? Well, when you can dodge Alexander's punches, you can dodge anybody's punches. That's just that's just the way it goes. Absolutely. Well, and I heard you say uh, earlier that if you mention the name John Jones, he turns it up. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So that's, you bait him with that? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Throw it right, right at him. You're not scared of John Jones, are you? That's it. Gloves are going on. He'll take you right out. Very nice. Well, listen, obviously it is uh, an important fight for you, and you had a loss to Rumble. Then you mm -hmm. came back in such commanding fashion against Glover Teixeira. So how do you feel like you're going to approach this fight? Are we going to see the Glover film? <laughs> <laughs> I'm guessing. No, we're not going to see the, the, the Rumble film. We're not going to see that film yeah. for a while. What kind of adjustments did you make, though? Because you, you seemed distinctively different in those two fights. Right. Well, one of them was just that uh, I approached my training a little bit different. I think I got a little bit burnt out towards the end of my camp uh, versus Rumble Johnson. This time I, I cut it back a little bit uh, a little bit sooner against Glover Teixeira and left me a little bit fresher. And I think that um, overall led to a much better performance. We know that you're a dominant wrestler, but Ryan Bader is also a very mm -hmm. highly decorated wrestler. Sometimes when right. two wrestlers meet, yep. all it is is a stand-up fight. That's so is that, is, that, is that what we're going to get or are you going to take him down? It's so hard to tell. It's so hard to tell. You never know if he wants to wrestle, if he doesn't want to wrestle, if he wants to just strike, or if he wants to wrestle, will I wrestle? I don't know. Who's a better wrestler? That's me. Yeah. That's <laughs> <laughs> Now, is it true that you wrestled him years and years ago? Yes. How'd it go? I won. You did? Yeah. Have you looked at that tape again? I don't think I could find it, but I might have to. Right. I might pull it out. You might need to tweet it to him as well. All right. <laughs> just a little reminder of what. A little take a little dig at him. Just a little bit, a little bit. How would you say the fight ends then? Um, if I had to guess, I'd say submission. But then again, um, it could it can go anyway. Yeah. It can go anyway. How do you feel about? Uh, you know, your position in the division, obviously we know that DC just fought John Jones, your good friend Alexander Gustafson had, mm -hmm. you know, really one of the best fights in the history of the organization against him. Yep. Y you seem to be a bit of an outsider sometimes. Your name isn't really in the mix as much as I'm guessing that you would like. So where do you see yourself in the division? Um, I'm just outside of that striking distance to be, uh, to be right there for title contention. So uh, it, it really just comes down to having a good performance, a good win against a top guy. Ryan Bader's a top guy, and uh, a solid victory in impressive fashion puts me right there. Does it frustrate you, though, when you look at the top names in light heavyweight and even middleweight, some guys you've sure. scared down to, the, to middleweight? That's Ask happened. Brian Stan about sure, Phil happened. scaring people out of the division. <laughs> uh, does that frustrate you at all? These are names, these are certified killers, and you took a lot of them out already. Yeah, um, I did. <laughs> I have. I don't know how to take that. I mean, thank you. you. Well, yeah, I mean, you, thank you. Do don't you forget about Machida while you're at it. In Brazil, by the way. Um, <laughs> yeah, I mean, do you feel that you need to just maybe be more vocal about your position and, and ask for more? I think that's it. I think I just need to be more vocal, maybe position myself a little better. But uh, sometimes I try to take the high road and let my resume speak for itself. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, not, I, guess, I guess now's the time to say, yeah, I beat those guys. All right. Well, speaking of, of Machida in Brazil, you are very successful mm -hmm. on the road. This is something different, though. You're going to Sweden. You're going to be fighting in front of 30,000 fans. Right. You know, right. so any nerves here? Um, not so much about the fans. Um, they should be cheering for me. I have a lot of Swedish fans on my, on my Instagram and on my Twitter. Really? Uh, mostly because of Alexander Gustafsson. Okay. Uh, it's not the pink shorts? It's not the it's pink shorts. Are you going to wear the pink shorts? I will wear the pink shorts. but <laughs> The Swedish fans deserve it, really. They I do. It's the first time they Mr. Do. Wonderful's fighting there. Um, but, yeah, so uh, I should have a good, good reception there. And um, I do well on the road. I, I try not to take in too much of that. Um, but I, I think this will be a, a, good, a good place, a good venue. And from what I heard, it's extremely loud. Yeah, I was there for the first show in Sweden. It was really loud, but the fans were great. It's a, it's a great time. And certainly Ryan has the same travel disadvantage. Right. So it's not like you're fighting a Swede in Sweden. Exactly. So I want to get back to the talk about the division. As we know, John Jones uh, in a little bit of hot water lately for testing positive for cocaine metabolites. What was your reaction when you heard that news? Um, definitely shocked, um, you know, as everybody was. But um, I, I guess the bigger problem is, you know, there's a guy who's using and, uh, and uh, you know, we all want the best for him, whether he's uh, an athlete on 
TV or whether he's just a, you know, a regular guy. So uh, hopefully he takes care of himself and uh, gets over this. It's a pretty grown-up response, Phil, because I know that you in the past have, you know, kind of lit him up a little bit more, um, you know, with you, your desire to fight him and just your general take on him. Well, the Internet is doing its thing on that. But <laughs> really? the truth of the matter is uh, he's a person and, uh, you know, and we all have, you know, we're not perfect people. So hopefully uh, he puts this behind him. So if Alexander gets another shot at John, how do you think that will go? That, now, now we're right in my wheelhouse. Uh, it's going to be a long night. It's going to be a long night. And this time, I think um, the judges will not give it to him if it goes to the judges. Um, he, he used that card already. He got his get out of jail free card. <laughs> he's, he's used that one. Um, this time, Alex, um, I mean, not that he's been preparing for him. He's just been preparing to fight. And he's been uh, you know, constantly progressing as a fighter. And um, he's ready. He's ready. Your day's a number, John Jones. <laughs> this man is coming. He's Swedish, and he will beat you down again. So you already told us that you're going to submit Ryan Bader. How will Alexander win his fight against Rumble? Um, it will either end in a TKO, or it'll go the distance, and it'll be completely one-sided. All right, and I should also ask you, uh, as we were getting ready, there was a little clip of Conor McGregor. Uh, he's got a big <laughs> fight coming up this weekend against Dennis Seaver. What do you, what's your you mean? The, you mean the champ? The, it's the champion, the champ. Conor McGregor. You like him. You're I fit. like him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like him. How do you think he'll do? Um, I don't know about two under two minutes. He's, he's calling for a finish under two minutes. And it's just, I think it's a tall order. Dennis Seaver is a good guy. Um... And he's just not the type of guy I think can be finished in two minutes. Now, I'm going out on a limb here. Dennis Seaver, you're my dude. Don't make me look bad, okay? Um, he's not that kind of guy. He's not that kind of guy. He's a tough cat. You're not going to be able to finish him like that. All right. And lastly, I should ask you, of course, you're part of the Alliance team. How's yep. our good friend Dominic Cruz doing? He's cruising. Yeah. He's cruising. He's had some bumps in the road. Yeah, 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 yeah. Taking it one day at a time. But, um, you know, he, he's doing all right. He's doing all right. all right. He's in great spirits. That's good. Well, Mr. Wonderful, it's always a pleasure to see you. Have fun over there in Sweden and, uh, and, and treat yourself right after. Go out. Have a night out. Go okay. All right. It's a pretty cool place. All right. I'm going to try that. <laughs> Thanks, Phil. Thank you.